Let's bring in Peter King, Football Morning in America, NBCSports.com, and back from Germany, where it seems like you had a great vacation over there, Pete. Uh, how would you sum it up for the audience? Well, the beer is good there. This just in. Oh, okay. Um, that's it. Dan, I thought it was it was really a tremendous event overall. I talked to Pete Carroll before the game and and he said, you know, it feels like it's going to be a, like a college football bowl game. And it turned out to be so much more than that. I think to me there's more fervor there, more excitement, more electricity than a conference championship game. And 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 you know, to me there was so much about it that fans there were so hungry about. But Dan, two minutes left in the fourth quarter, for some reason, the stadium announcer starts to play uh, Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. And I'm saying, okay, you've been playing music the whole game. <clears throat> I do not get this. Speaking of non sequiturs, this is like the non sequitur of the year. And all of a sudden, we there is no press box per se uh, at Allianz Arena in Munich and at European venues, you're out in the stands, basically sitting at a in a chair with a table. Okay, but you're right there. The people in front of you are all bombed. But but so what happened? They start playing this. I said, "This is crazy. Who knows this song?" And every single person among sixty nine thousand, I'm telling you, they all started singing. Take me home, country roads. So I called one of my German fans who I had met with during the week and talked to. And he said, oh, yeah, everybody knows Country Roads by John Denver. <laughs> we know that. We know Sweet Caroline. We know all these songs. They're like all party songs. And so, but but the whole week was so interesting. One other very quick thing, Dan. I'm taking a tour. I got my AirPods in. I'm taking a tour of Munich. Uh, that 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 I had for my AirPods, and I'm in Odeonsplatz, a very famous square in Munich, and they're talking about Adolf Hitler tried to overthrow the government right here on this spot in 1923. And as I hear that, there's two guys starting to do a Seahawks chant in the square. There's an NFL shop there. There's 32 helmets in this square of NFL teams. And I just said, man, what a difference a century makes. Yeah. It just, this, this whole thing was just quite a culture deal over that week. We always wonder, is there an end game here? When London first happened or Mexico City, you know, now there's a report that uh, Spain and France could be on the... On the on well, the... Spain is real. Okay. Spain, uh, let me tell you, Dan, I think the next two countries that the NFL, the new countries that they go to are Brazil and Spain uh, because the Miami Dolphins, okay, the Miami Dolphins really have a following in Brazil and they have a following in Spain. The Chicago Bears have a big following in Spain. So I think those two are next, but I will say, I wrote this in my column this week, I think both Kansas City and New England will be playing home games next year in Germany, most likely in Frankfurt because of scheduling with the Bundesliga. But Dan, I just, you know, any question that the NFL has about placing games in a new country, you know, like Germany, those were erased about 10 minutes into this game. These people were crazy about it. And not only crazy about it, but there were so many people who were just euphoric they sent us Tom Brady. And so I think all of that means next year when they send Patrick Mahomes and Bill Belichick there, it's going to be a very big deal again to the citizens and football fans of Germany. All right. What's the NFL's game plan other than do one or two games in these different cities? Is there, is there a bigger picture here we should be aware of? Dan, Roger Goodell has sort of put the chum in the water that, hey, it's possible to have a, uh, to have a division over there, like in Europe with four teams. How? I mean, maybe 30 years from now, but first of all, there's not a single owner that wants a 36 team NFL, not one. Okay. And there, I can't think of a single team right now that would even be seriously thinking of relocation. I mean, everybody always brings up Jacksonville, 
I, I just I don't see Shad Khan moving this team. But but let's just say that he did one day, eight years, seven years, six years down the road. Let's say he did. Who's going to join him? Do you know any owner in the NFL that wants to move his team? So unless you expand, where are you going to find the teams? The yeah. end game for now, Dan, to me, is instead of playing four or five games outside the United States, I think it makes a lot of sense now, next year at the NFL meetings, to push for eight to 10 games a year out of the NFL's 272 regular season games to be in different countries. 